Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you have a great and wonderful day. And this is going to be pretty much explaining mostly, if not all, of the issues with the, uh, uh, you know, the whole debate between men versus women and um, how uh, that is not going super well there with, uh, with the issue. So, we have this. We have fourth tier men's team destroys U.S. women's soccer team 12-0. We are affirming that biological males have physical advantages over women. Well, this is a no-brainer. Over the weekend, the U.S. National, women's national team was crushed by the men's Wraxham AFC team in, 12, in the 12-0 defeat. Wraxham, a Wales-based uh, team owned by American actors Ryan Reynolds and Rob McCanny is a part of England's fourth tier League 2. Uh, both teams were made up of current, former, and special guest players. Uh, according to Fox News, some of the 12 goals were scored by Wrexham in the first 20 minutes, with the team ultimately going on to the next round of the soccer tournament in, the tw in North Carolina. The women's national team had only five shots attempts on the goal, compared to Wrexham's 39 chances at, at a goal. The U.S. soccer team was managed by Mia Hamm, featuring players such as Heather O'Reilly and Lori Lindsay, the first of which has won three, won three Olympic medals playing for the U.S. women's team. We're super proud, O'Reilly told NBC Sports after the game. Hopefully we prove to anybody, just go for it, just live. What's the worst that could happen? We lose 16-0 to wax him. We don't care because we're, we're living, we're being bold, and we're being brave. Here are we have two amazing products that soccer, American soccer fans are getting behind. It's just a ton of fun, and it's brought all of us together. The tournament was played between June 1st and 4th, and boasted that 11 million, uh, 1 million winner takes all prize. The tournament rules were to a twist on regular soccer rules with no foul size, no draws, no slight tackles, and other non conditional rules. Roxanne White was ultimately knocked out of running for the prize money with Newtown Price FC winning over SLAC FC in the final game on Sunday. This isn't the first time uh, that the US. Uh, US uh, WNT has lost to Mayo team. In 2017, the team played against the FC Dallas U15 Boys uh, Academy and the team in preparation for the two friendly games against Russia, losing 5-5-2, according to CBC reports. Yeah. So, this is what's going on here. And this is not to be to hate on women, because obviously this isn't what it's for. However, the reason why I am making this report, the reason why I am talking about this is because we're a lot of people are really just uh, trying to rationalize and trying to allow um, women to be in men to be in women's sports. And my whole issue is is that we're seeing this time and time again to where there are people winning these sports, uh, men taking over these women's sports, and it's been a huge detriment. Um, I may believe there was even the point where the 15 boys a year, uh, 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 what else? It was high school boys, 15 years old, to where they beat pretty much a national uh, soccer team per people, and this is where this is the reality. And I, I think that this is insane to where we think that women can just enter women's sports and it'd be okay. And that's my biggest problem. And what I have an issue with some of the people that say that you know obviously don't know me or have any idea on what my beliefs would be because they don't talk to me enough, and I really want to ask them: Do you think that if I was say that I am a man or I'm a woman and I obviously look like the guy that I am, and uh, would you just allow me to enter the woman's uh, woman's bathroom? If you say no, then you're being hypocritical because the person that you are friends with is most likely not going to agree with you in that standard. Now, he may believe, he may actually believe in it, but there are a lot of people that are on that side just want to enter the bathrooms, and this can cause a massive amount of problems because there's also children, little girls, in those bathrooms with their mothers, etc., that, you know, are not supposed to be in the guys' bathroom. So this is kind of obvious, right? So I, I don't see to where this is going to be a thing to where you can say this or or not say that, or you're or are you gonna say that like, oh, I can be allowed to compete against like your one of your friends' wives and a if the, she was in a sport and then you know I end up taking over and winning. I don't see how this is fair to anyone. And whenever you come up with these discussions, whenever these people start talking about this stuff, you have to, they run into the trap of either completely morally wrong or it's just doesn't work. Your facts come false falling flat. 
And these are the issues that we have. And we're going to watch a video here, specifically, where, uh, you know, what the domination is. I mean, this yeah, is just happening a, a lot in, in sports. And, goes to and uh, to the this is kind of the, just the, the reality that we're that we're in so uh, again it, it's just if you're losing this badly and we're seeing where teenage boys are beating championship women and women are losing 12-0 to these to these uh to these guys here and women are losing to technically biological guys in their sports then what does that actually truly mean when uh when you're allowing these other people to enter uh Obviously, these guys are going to be going going to be going into these sports with nefarious reasons. Um, I have no desire to enter a female sport at all. Um, but if I probably would, and I was more of a devious person, I would one hundred percent enter a female sport, call myself a woman, and just easily slam them. Now, I am not going to say that I can easily slam um, guys, for that matter, because I know I'm not up to par. I just know that I am naturally, normally, more physically stronger than women in most cases. Now, I'm just saying that a woman cannot beat my ass at some point, because there are ones that can. Those bodybuilders, not fucking with them. But, again, it, there is just a certain thing that we need to go back to normalcy in society. And this is what it is. So even Redox says, Redox has learned that, the, that trans activist Riley Dennis injured a female player while participating in a women's football game in Australia on May 21st. This is the second time Dennis alleged to have injured women playing playing in a women's league. And yeah, we, this was, um, I, we talked about this before, right? And uh, it, where a lot of these people, a lot of these women are getting injured or severely injured. I know I did a video to where we see a woman, a, a, a young college student, she may have been in high school, uh, where she was screaming in actual pain because of the damage the trans person did. And we're trying to leave, live in this uh, in this reality to where this is normal. We're trying to deem this as normal, and it's not. This is not normalcy. This is insanity. We need to get them help the best way possible. I don't care what you do to your body, right? If you're a consenting an adult and you want to do this, by all means, do it. But do not have the don't have the audacity, the audacity to go and harm or inf or infer your your opinions and your beliefs onto other people and force them to deal with it. That's not okay. I don't enjoy that. Do what you want, but don't cause issues for other people. That's all we're asking. That's all that I am asking. But if you're going to start forcing people to believe what you say, forcing people to believe what you do, etc., and then, and then uh, or what have you, then that is an issue for me. That's when we start having a problem. Now you're forcing your ways into women's sports. Now it's not just you, but it's other people that have to suffer for your for your negligence, for your um, for your uh, honestly your narcissism. You uh, kids have to suffer for your narcissism because obviously. Um, you want access to bathrooms and you want to enter all this stuff. Uh, I don't see to where this is good. I don't see where this is positive. So you please, uh, I don't know where you want to go with this. All right, guys, that's it the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. Because it's algorithmic disease, the social media.